our city's continuing renaissance. Because in addition to inspiring us and teaching our children, art can build bridges among diverse communities and can serve as a catalyst for community, community re revitalization and economic development. Over the past 11 years, M&T donations to the arts have totaled more than $38 million. Last year, we gave $4.5 million to the arts. Here in Baltimore, we provide funding for a wide range of art organizations, including OPA, Center Stage, the Walters Art Museum, and the Baltimore Museum of Art, just to name a few. Our investments in art is central to M&T's philosophy of strengthening our community and making them great places to live, work, and to learn. We do this because the arts are a vital part of the quality of life we enjoy in Baltimore. Artists challenge our thinking, uplift our spirits, and help define what it is to be human. The Sondheim Prize, now in its 11th year, is the top arts award in the Baltimore area. We are so pleased to continue to present the M&T Sondheim Finalist Award which provides a $2,500 honorarium for each of the remaining six finalists not selected for fellowship. We did this to recognize and encourage all of the finalists to continue to expand and evolve their artistic vision and help them pay for some of the work that they did. <laughs> we congratulate the 365 artists who applied for the Sondheim Prize this year. Their work is among the most innovative and thought-provoking in this region. We encourage each of you to continue to explore your talents, enrich our lives, our entire community, and let your voice be heard. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. A renowned panel of jurors had the difficult task of selecting the semi-finalists, finalists and winner for more than 360 applicants. This year, the jurors are Tim Griffin, the Executive Director and Chief Curator at The Kitchen, one of New York City's oldest nonprofit performance and exhibition spaces. Rujeko Hockley, if I got that right, the Assistant Curator of Contemporary Art at the Brooklyn Museum in New York. Mia Locks, a curator based in New York, who was co-organizing the 2017 Whitney Biennial with Christopher Walken. Let's give them all a round of applause. more exciting parts of the night. Let's meet the finalists. So I'm going to introduce each finalist, and finalists, if you don't mind, when I say your name and introduce you, stand so everyone knows exactly who I'm talking about. Fabulous. Theo Anthony.
Electronic Artscape Prize finalist in 2013, Larry's work has been included in various group shows. His photographs, sculptures, and videos have also been featured in solo exhibitions at Hamiltonian Gallery in Washington, D.C., Emerge Art Fair in Washington, D.C., Stamp Gallery, College Park, and Pleasant Plains Workshop in Washington, D.C. Force of Setting Rape Culture. So Force is an artist and activist collaboration whose mission is to upset the culture of rape and promote a culture of consent. Founded in 2010, Force is led by Hannah Brancato and Rebecca Nagel. Rebecca is the founding director of the No Boundaries Coalition, a resident-led organization bringing neighborhoods together across race and class lines, and has exhibited locally and internationally. Hannah teaches at the Maryland Institute College of Art and began working with survivors of domestic and sexual violence in 2008, when she established the Advocate Through Art campaign. <laughs> Eric Kruszewski. Photographer whose documentary and journalism work focuses on people who have undergone transitions in life, individuals and groups who are marginalized by society and unique subcultures that might not receive mainstream attention. His work has been featured in group exhibitions, including the Lucy Awards at Carnegie Hall in New York, International Photography Awards at Smashbox Studios in Los Angeles, California, and Travel Photographer of the Year at the Royal Geographic Society in London. Christos Palios. A Greek American photographer whose work probes ideas and aspects of identity, memory, and isolation within urban, industrial, and natural spaces, Christos has exhibited his work locally and nationally. Venues include the Barrett Art Center in Pokipsky, <coughs> excuse me, Photo Place Gallery in Middlebury, Vermont, and the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History. Wow, so we're already at this point. Now to announce the winner of the Sondheim Prize, please welcome the Executive Director of the Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts. Thank you. Um... 
Um, we first would just like to thank all of the other artists in the show. Um, we know from our own experience it's an incredible amount of work for us to display our art in this venue and so um, we are really honored and humbled like the minute the show was lit and all the TVs were on and all the video, I was blown away by all of the work and so I just really want to honor the work that you all did.